I am Lynn Root, um, so that is my Twitter handle, and because no one emails anymore, I don't respond to emails, I respond to Twitter, so, <laughs> sorry. Um, I am a developer um, of the web and of otherwise. Uh, I don't really know how to classify myself yet. And um, I am the, the San Francisco chapter founder of Pi Ladies. So it's a mentorship group for women in the Python community, which you should join. <laughs> and uh, who cares, really, seriously. Like, I, I need to be honest with you. And I need you not to share this with anyone else. I am completely faking it. Like, I am really not a coder. I am, I'm so faking it. I am a complete noob when I code. <laughs> And, and I'll be the first one to say that I'm such a noob at anything. And so this cute little dog, I have no idea what I'm doing. When I'm coding, I'm just like, yeah, I think it should be this way. And I, th I think some people can relate. <laughs> um, so like, this is my like, imposter-like sign. Does anyone, has anyone else felt like an imposter when they kind of like try and do stuff? Yeah? Okay, thank God, I'm not the only one. <laughs> so um, a little bit about myself. Um, I actually graduated with a finance slash econ degree a few years ago. And I decided that I wanted to try um, coding because I kind of wanted to go for a financial engineering degree. Um, and I took a course a year ago at Harvard um, at their intro to um, computer science. And um, it was hard. Like, like I failed. <laughs> like, not, like, not like the, the <laughs> B plus isn't an A sort of way, but like, we're giving you a D because we're nice. And I was like, oh, thanks. So, um, so I, I saw, like, I, I saw, like, code in Python. I had been in C. Like, I couldn't understand, like, memory allocation, dereferencing, like, the data structures and algorithms. Like, it was all over my head. And then, um, and then for my final project, I did it in Python. I learned Django. I built a site that kind of tied into my interests in finance and econ. And it actually brought up my grade to an A minus. And believe me, don't ask me how that computes, but I, I will take it. <laughs> so, uh, so I think I was kind of onto something. If I could like fail and then like get an A minus in the course by learning something new and being awesome in Python, that I, I still kind of wanted to learn it. So um, I decided to teach it. Like someone who failed, <laughs> why not teach it, right? <laughs> so, um, so I hosted a, um, a few study groups, actually an eight week course at, with, um, well not really a course, but like a study group series with women who code. Um, we studied for like eight weeks, I'd, I'd have a project, I would digest it and learn it the week before, and then I would present it to the women and we would like hack on it together. And um, it was a lot of fun, but I, I think the real reason these women came to my um, study groups is because Dropbox offered us free food, but don't tell that to anyone. <laughs> um, and there is a lot of energy behind this Women Who Code like study group. So um, I founded Pi Ladies, and Pi, well, the, the San Francisco chapter of Pi Ladies. Um, Pi Ladies had actually already been in LA and DC, and I was like, why isn't this in San Francisco? So I just went ahead and started one by like opening up a, a meetup page, and now we have like 300 members after like three or four months. So it's quite awesome. So we, we host like um, monthly like hack nights and workshops and I guess this month we have like four events. So you should all attend, find us on Meetup and um, go to an event. Um, and so I have this like to-do list when I'm like working as like a pseudo developer or um, as preparing for like a workshop is, um, that I wanted to share with you. So like, my, oops, um, can you see that? Um, well, it says to do learn. It's an, uh, sorry, I'm a little bit colorblind, so uh, these don't look pretty up here, but they look nice right here. <laughs> um, so it says to do learn, and I'm like, okay, I need to learn what I need to teach these women. I need to learn what I need, what my job is, and what I need to do to like get paid. So like, I learn a little bit, and now I break stuff. <laughs> it says break s. H exclamation point T. <laughs> so I break stuff, I break stuff a lot. And then I ask for help. My to-do list is next is S. After I break everything after a few hours of like, what the heck did I just do? I finally ask for help. And then the answer that I get is, RTFD, which stands for read the effing documents. <laughs> so so um, my advice is to read before you ask, but sometimes you just have those noob questions. And then, um, and then I go ahead and break more stuff. Um, break more, more of my code, and then, you know, every once in a while, I have a success, yes, yeah, success moment. And then I break more stuff, and then again, I break more stuff. So really, it's honestly me trying to like break stuff and figure out what the heck I just did to undo it all. <laughs> so, um, so, and then I go home and cry. <laughs> It's okay to cry, <laughs> to be honest, it's really okay. And I'll admit, like, there's at least four times where I went home and just, like, 
plunked on the pillow and just cried my eyes out. And it's because just like, I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Like, I, I just can't learn it. So, um, so, so yeah, it's kind of like a imposter syndrome. Like, really, like, should I really be here? Um, I love this comic. It's because it's, it says, if you can't read it, sucking at something is the first step at being sort of good at something. If you've read like Malcolm Gladwell's, like, I forget which book it is, but like, it takes 10,000 hours to be like an expert at something. I'm sure I'm only like a tenth of the way through. I think like what, like 1,000 hours is a year. Um, so I don't know, but it's it's sort of true. Like I'm not I'm not sucking at it right now. I'm sort of good at it, but this is my motivation to like. If I need to cry, I'll cry, and then I'll break some more crap, and I'll fix it, and I'll learn. So um, my advice to you is just to continue on. But then I have a little secret for you. Everyone's a fraud. I'm not the only one to feel this way, and like some people call it ego, but like. Um, so how can like you be a fraud like if everyone else is you know that's like my sort of theory like it's like we're all friends we're all frauds right <laughs> so for like for the love of coding just like keep calm and geek on so thank you. Thank you.